Hey guys, good morning. We got a couple of new saddles in last night and we've got to get these saddles ready to go on these horses and I thought I'd share with you guys how we how I would go about getting my saddle ready to ride. It's not like you can well you can just throw it on them if you want to, but I like to do a couple of things just to kind of give it a more broken feel before I before I go to using it. So I'll I'll just share that with you guys today. Let's take the the rubber bands off of these latigos. I'll just show you the first thing that I do. This is this is a half breed off billet. Okay, and you can see that it's it's new, it's really stiff, and it's not super usable right now. So what I do for these for these latigos when they're like this is I'll take them, you've got to break the fibers down in this leather in order to get it nice and soft and supple. Basically is what it boils down to. So the best way to do that is, is to find you something that has a curve to it. Like I like to use this D ring right here. That anything where you can bend it in two different directions. If you just bend it in one direction like this, you're not going to get exactly what you're looking for. It needs to have a crook in it like that so that you can drag it through and really stress that leather and break those fibers down on the inside to get it soft, okay? So what I do is I just kind of start at the beginning and I lean back and I put as much weight on it as I can and I just work this thing back and forth just like that, okay? Just like that. Make sure you go the whole length of it as far as you can. Like that. Flip it over and do the other side too. Okay. Just like that. Now, you can see that's getting better. That's a lot better right there. That's pretty good feel to it. We're not done. Next thing we want to do is get your neat's foot oil which I always keep some neat's foot, neat's foot oil around for, well, for everything that's leather. Down here in the south especially, we, we have a problem with mold and humidity and stuff, and it's essential that we keep our stuff oil good because it'll rot pretty quick if we don't. But just take you some neat's foot oil. I get these cheap paint brushes at the hardware store and just paint that neat's foot oil on there. Just like that, flip her over, do the other side. And these things are waxed, and that wax is a, <clears throat> when you get them, the finish that's on this Latigo is really good, but it's almost like you gotta get that finish broke down a little bit before they, before they start to feel real good. And you don't necessarily have to oil them. I just like to oil them because I like my Latigos and my off it's just to be super, super soft. All right, so once you get it oiled, take the rag and take your old rag and wipe off the excess oil and then do it again. All right. Now you'll start to feel that latigo really, really feeling different. It's, it's more pliable, it's much softer. So just do that, flip it over, do it on the other side again. Oops. <clears throat> All right, there. Now, that's a pretty good feel right there, right? Sure it is, but we're not done. Next thing you want to do is get your cinch. There it is. We got new cinches and new saddle blankets too, so make sure you cut all this stuff off. New saddles, it's like Christmas morning, you know? Everybody gets excited over new saddles. So, this is a half breed off build. I'll just show you how you, how you put on a half breed if you've never done one before. You thread it through the off side of your cinch, right? That's the side with the keeper. See the keeper right there? Now what I like to do 
is go ahead and buckle it in a position that you think is about average, okay? So let's just say right there. That's, that's probably average for what I'm going to be using. Now, if AJ will zoom in on that, I'll show you what the problem is. You see this big, these big bubbles right here. Well, you can see that your stirrup leather is going to rub against that, right? So what I do is I, I've, I've established that position right there, okay? So then I'm just going to pinch that and unbuckle it right there. I'm going to take it off, and I'm holding that, holding that spot right there, okay? I'm going to lay it down right here take my rag so that I don't damage my latigo with my hammer. And yeah, I said hammer. Beat the stew out of that thing. All right. You guys will get a good laugh out of this if I smack my finger with that hammer. I've done it before, but I'm not going to do it just for your entertainment purposes, all right? So hit that thing, and you see how it's flattening it out, right? Getting nice and flat. I like that. I like that a lot. See, that's a lot better. You see how flat that goes there now? So I'll just take that end, and I'll get some, get a little oil on it. Just like that, okay? That'll make that nice and soft and supple. All right. Now that's where your cinch goes. Now, you can't do much about that top bubble. Let me show you. <clears throat> See how that just makes a perfect little pocket for that D-ring to ride in right there? So your tail, that's what that keeper's there for, to put the tail of your latigo through. All right, now, there's not much you can do about this bubble. If you're only gonna use it on one horse, that's fine. Go ahead and hammer that top down if you want to too. But see, we're gonna have to, I'll have to adjust this thing several times in a day to get it on all the horses we're gonna ride. So we just have to pull it down tight and, uh, and trust that the conditioning that we did with it is going to cause that to lay flat and it will pretty quick it, it doesn't take very long but you can but you can shorten the process by at least doing that part right we'll just put our hind cinch hobble on there <clears throat> Make sure you got a good leather or biothane or stainless chain for a, for a, um, a hobble right here because you don't want that thing failing on you when you need it, right? All right. Make sure you go all the way to the end really pull on it as hard as you can okay break those fibers down and all we're doing is speeding up the breaking in process this is the same thing that happened if you if you just rode it every day And you don't want to just be sloppy with the oil. But get it on there good. All the way down both sides. Wipe it off. Just 
just like that. Look how look how loose and soft that thing's getting. All right. That's pretty doggone good. Now let's go ahead and you see this one's got a bubble in the top of it too, right? Your finger will lay flat too if you whack it with this hammer. So don't do that. <clears throat> Rough out, out, okay? That's the slick side. You put it in, okay? I'll show you how to thread this thing through, you see? There's three holes in this latigo. You see that? In a triangular shape. Okay. And you take this string, you thread it through. Okay. Pull it down. You don't want to pull it super snug. Okay. And then put the two tips together, just like that. Make sure they're straight. All right, they're not twisted. And then put the two tips together and then thread them through as one, if you can. Sometimes you'll need a little bit of extra slack in there to get it done. And I really need my glasses to get this done. Okay, just like that. Pull them individually so that you get it really, really tight. Okay, so I went and got my trusty needle nose pliers, all right? So you can take your pliers and, and stick them in right there and kind of wallow that out, okay? And make a nice bubble. Then, and you can do this a couple of different ways, but for this application, I think the thing to do is to thread these through, okay? Grab them with those pliers in there and there's a little bit of a twist in that one so just like that and then pull all that stuff down really really tight like I said pull them individually okay like that and then pull them together like that give it a couple of wax to make it lay down flat and that's that. So that saddle's pretty much ready to ride. Um, we're gonna wrap the horn on this saddle with some mule hide, but I don't have any mule hide today, so maybe we'll make another video showing you guys how I'd wrap that horn. Um, other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna throw it, on a, throw it on a colt and see how she rides. So y'all take care.